Welcome to the AACS Daily News for April 13th, 2017. Hill Roberts Elementary School honored its first principal, Evelyn Silva, on Tuesday with the reopening of an art gallery in her honor. The space will hold a range of works from Attleboro artists. There was a reception to celebrate the opening and we spoke with current principal Frank Rich to learn more about the event. Tonight's important for a lot of reasons. Uh, we really wanted to do a couple of things where we want to sort of show our commitment to the arts in Attleboro and also give the opportunity to see that we have local artists here. You don't have to travel to Boston to go to the MFA to see professional art done, that we have professional art here in, this, uh, in our own community and give the opportunity, kid, the kids an opportunity to see it firsthand and interact with it and um, the artists are part of the project is the artists are going to be coming in to talk with the kids and do some work uh, during their art classes um, and also honestly to celebrate Evelyn Silva and her legacy and to make sure that we kind of continue the, the commitment to the arts. Exposure to the arts, I, I don't know that there could be possibly any more studies done to prove the importance of the arts in our kids' education and uh, giving them a different outlook and a different view. And, and uh, you really, when you delve into you know, how our brains work, every kid's brain works different. You know, some kids are into the physical aspects. Some kids can do the math. Some kids are great at writing. Some kids, for them, the outlet is in the arts. Um, and it's just another way to kind of activate that passion for learning and uh, just the culture of it as well. So it's important to honor Evelyn um, partly for the mostly really for the history and for her the time she spent giving to the community of Attleboro and and the lives she touched and just making sure that we uh, sort of honor that legacy where um, moving forward keeping this Evelyn Sola Gallery running and active and just continues to show our commitment in honoring her for um, all her time and energy that she put into the kids here in Attleboro. I'm so excited and exhilarated. I probably, I had a nap before I came, but I'm sure that I'm going to more than have a nap at this. And it is so wonderful to see so many people. I just can't believe the people who came to this event uh, today. When Jim Hammond and Mr. Rich first talked about it with Marion writing tonight, I said, well, that's interesting. And then I, I said to Mary, well, what am I supposed to do? And she said, be there. So here I am. And it's just wonderful to see so many of the staff and the parents from 1975. That's when this all began in 1975. It's nice to be back today and to see all these people. I mean, they were like coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> it was wonderful. And to think that this gallery is going to be alive and that uh, Marion Whitington has already uh, negotiated with some other artists to, to uh, put, put their work here. Uh, it's just going to be really a wonderful experience for people. And I hope people from the neighborhood come and also some of the people uptown and like the school committee and the city council come and see what really does go on in the schools and how we reach out to everybody in the population. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.